So I always teach guys when you're on dates, say let's go hang out, let's go do this or that, but there's no sexual expectations. Let's go hang out, whatever happens, happens. So I always say, Person. Yes. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about uh, turn-ons and turn-offs that happen uh, in a woman's brain and kind of how to avoid doing the turn-offs and increase the turn-ons. Okay. Before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. And if you have any interest in my eight-week mentorship to so skyrocket your game success, click the link in the description. 30 minute call and I will tell you what we can do okay so uh, what would you say is like the number one turn off on a date mm, I don't like when the guy's rude when he's rude yeah oh yeah that's, um, an, that's an interesting point yeah I, okay so very important back when I met her okay, in February uh, she said that there was like multiple dudes in the running obviously whatever that she was like trying to decide between and she also told me that she was only like seeing a guy for a second date, like five percent of the time, right? Yes. Usually, like the, it doesn't turn in the second date because the first date wasn't good enough, right? Yeah. She said like most guys like fuck it up for her on the first date, and then she only see the guy again for a second date, usually five percent of the time. So, um, that being said, the guy that was like next in line or whatever that, that I was like basically competing with at the time, which I didn't even know about, she told me after. She yeah, said like he thought he was like a really like high value yeah. cool dude, and they were out to dinner, and he was rude to the to the waiter. To the waiter. Yes. And that like fucked the whole thing. Exactly because you're just meeting a person. The person can be rude to the waiter. Like of course the person is gonna be rude to you. Why do you want to be close to this person? You know. Yeah. So. Okay. It's easy. It's what's time. what's the number one turn on that you experience in a date? It's when I like I. Have fun, you know, like it's like a turn on, like when you're like having fun, you want to like deliver more, you know. It's like a kind of like a back and forth situation, you know, like you have a smile and that smile gets back to you, and then like you get like all the sexy face, it's exciting. So, you're talking about like the vibe being positive. Yes, and it's gonna be like it's like it's a natural turn on, <laughs> all the, you know. All the sexy faces. Yes, when she it's like, really um, she's like, <laughs> oh my god, you cannot. No, babe, I have to lose. <laughs> okay, but um, so like when the vibe is really good, and what what things contribute to like the vibe being positive and like things being happy and nice? Um, talk about like positive like things, positive issues. Like, you no, know, you're talking about anything. It's so annoying that person that all of, also get back to the person like to say like something negative. You know. Okay, so she's basically saying that when the vibe is on and solid and all this stuff, and there's like positive discussion, etc., like things are happy. Can you go into explaining like what a good vibe looks like? This is really important. Like when you're on the date and you're you're having the whole vibe, like this is basically like how on things are, like how into the conversation she is, how bo how good both of you are feeling on either side. So how do, what what contributes to the vibe being good? Oh, talk about like fun stuff, you know, not like serious issues, or even if it's like a serious issue, you see the point. And like you talk like it's uh, it's soft to conversation, you no, know? it's not like oh, damn. So like no intense issues, no, no serious no, issues. No, no. Do you want you the guy? Problems, you know, like you talk about like you talk about like nice moments, joy of moments, because you want to say joy, you know. And you want the guy like. Uh... I don't, do you, want, do you like when he's joking or when he's more like serious, talking about serious stuff? I prefer when it's like joking. I yeah. love talking about serious stuff too, but it's like... Most I of my clients, them. like, they, a lot of them make the mistake where they're having like just a very like bland, boring conversation where it's, I, I refer to it as like a fact exchange. Where you're like, oh, like tell me about this, and they're like blah blah, and you're like, did you know about this? Blah blah blah. Oh, what about this? Blah blah blah. And it's just this like kind of like emotionally flat type of thing. They're like very serious and they're, they're making the conversation like a big deal. Whereas the girls just want it to be like light and fun and uh, you know, just just kind of like light and, and cool, right? So, okay, what other big things besides rudeness turn you off? If I'm with a person and the person's like not paying attention to me, it's like the person that like 
Paris, I'd rather be like, would rather be like in another place. Like they're like aloof or like texting a lot. Or... Yeah, texting a lot or like someone like that is like, oh, or is pay attention to something that's happening outside the day, you know, not pay attention to what's happening over there. That's enough. Okay. Definitely. So basically you want the guy to keep things light and fun. Keep yeah. things upbeat. Don't talk about any serious issues. Don't yeah. talk about any negative issues. Yeah. And don't be all distracted and aloof. Yeah. What about in terms of like the flirtation? Like in terms of like sexualizing the conversation, making. Yeah, you make moves, right? It has to be like smooth. Or, like you move, like in the sea, like the person also like don't move back, right? So the person is comfortable. You're talking about so being with being physical. Yeah. Maybe. So like if the guy like reaches for your hand across the table and you like pull back, then you want to just, the guy is just like oh. Blah, blah, blah. The tree says it's no big deal. Yeah, it's exactly. So yeah, when you're when you're doing like light physicality on a date, okay, like if you're like sitting at a table and you reach across and the girl is like receptive, then you can like smile, continue escalation forward uh, throughout the date. If she's like, oh well, that that's when I usually back off and I say like, oh, are you shy or like, you know, like what's up? Oh yeah, sorry. Like it just takes me a little bit of time to to warm up someone or like I'm like this at the beginning and then. I'm a lot more chill, or whatever. You're like, oh, it's cool. Blah blah blah. Okay, what about in regards to the guy trying to take you home on the date? Uh, give some discussion about that. Oh, it depends. It's like, can it be like a turn on or a turn off, right? Like, it feels like already cool. Like you guys are like involved, like kissing, making out, like you know. And you see like the guy, you know, what's that? And you're like, but he's okay, like. He's okay if he doesn't have it, you know, he doesn't take that for granted, like, oh. So, like, like it's yeah, okay. Oh, this is already, like, oh. It's okay if he right. wants to take the girl home, but not if he's just, like, assuming. He, yes, he cannot assume. This is a really turn off. Because, like, when, when he assumes he got you, this is, like, just is, like, the person is, like, snob, you know, arrogant. It's like, oh, it's already mine. Explain, like, explain, oh. like, an example of that. Like, for example, oh, uh, let's uh, go for my home. Let's have sex there. Like, let's not. Oh, if they openly say talk about having sex. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. they assume they are having sex at the night. Yeah. Like, so I always teach guys yeah, when you're on dates, say let's go hang out, let's go do this or that, but there's no sexual expectations. Let's go hang out. Whatever happens, happens. So I always say, don't worry that I have no sexual expectations. Let's go hang out. Whatever happens, happens, and let's go hang out. I like to let things unfold naturally. Those are the three main ones that I use. So that like, takes all the pressure off having to hook up. The girl doesn't yeah. want to feel like prematurely, like we call it like slut shamed as well. Like you don't want to feel bad about yeah, the guy being like, all right, let's go fuck. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. you haven't like mentally even decided if you want to yet. Exactly, it's like something that's like, that's not, yeah, that's a turn off. All right, so that about wraps it up <laughs> for the turn ons and turn offs of the dates. Um, we're gonna make one more video about the five sum we had last night, which is the first for me. And do you have anything else to say about? But you want the guy. The other big thing is confidence. Obviously, confidence and charisma. You don't want the guy to be unsure of himself. You want him to be very comfortable in his own skin, not trying to be someone he's not, etc., etc., as well. Yeah, for sure. Because you want to like a real person, right? You want to like this has to be conveyed, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you on the next video. We're gonna go make one more video here and then jump in the water. Cool. Alright. Bye. Okay. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.